Hi everyone and welcome to another card making video. The new Lawn Farm release is here and I'm super excited about it. I fell in love with the Berry Rainy Day stamp set and the new Rainy Sky stencil. So that's exactly what I will be using for this card. You might notice already that I altered the images a bit so let's go ahead and see what I did. Spreek je Nederlands, er is ondertiteling beschikbaar. As always I start with coloring my images. I use my Copic markers for that and I put the color number on the left of my paper so you know which color number I use. I stamped out the jumping little bear and the bear with the umbrella from the Very Rainy Day stamp set. I did so with Lanfan Jet Black Ink with the use of my Misty so I can stamp multiple times to get a crisp impression. If you want more details on any supply I used during the video be sure to check out the blog post I linked in the description to learn more about that. I'm not coloring the bear that's holding the umbrella because I'm only going to use the umbrella, which I will show you later on. If you want to skip watching me color, you can skip to the time that pop ups on the screen now. You can also find the clickable time link in the description. After the coloring I always like to go over the inner lines with a black fine liner. This brings back some detail that got a bit dull because of the coloring. It's totally optional but for me it makes a difference. To finish the images I'm adding highlights with a white gel pen. I die cut the images off screen. So, first of all, I want to assemble my image for the card. I did the die cutting for the big bear as usual, but I'm going to cut off the umbrella. Now I only need a drop of glue to add the little bear to the umbrella to make it look like they hold their umbrella. Isn't that adorable? I'm convinced this is not the only time I'm doing this. With the two biggest dies from the large stitch rectangle stackables, I cut some panels. The biggest one out of some patterned paper. I believe this is an older long form paper. With the other one, I cut a panel out of paper suitable for ink blending. I'm taking that smallest panel over to my magnetic board and I'm going to blend the cloudy sky. I used the Lanfang cloudy stencil together with Distress Oxide tumbled glass and a blending brush. A blending brush takes up less ink and gives me more control. I add the ink to the stencil first before I blend it out onto my paper. These things combined ensure me that I don't add too much ink at once. After I'm done I go around the edge to close off the sky visually and I continue with the next step. I use the new rainy sky stencil paired with the new clear stenciling paste to add some raindrops to my cloudy sky. I use a palette knife to add the paste to my stencil and I spread it out. Then I take my big scraper to get all the excess off. As you can see you can put back a lot of the paste into the jar and your end result will be super leveled. 
After I'm done, I quickly go and rinse my supplies right away, otherwise it will dry and ruin it all. This is the result of the stenciling paste after it dries. It dries really quick. With the banner die you can find the flippin' awesome, I cut a banner out of black cardstock. I'm dusting it generously with baby powder to make it anti-static. I take the banner over to my Misty and stamp on the sentiment Have a happy day with clear embossing ink. Next I sprinkle on some white embossing powder and tap the excess off from the back. With a small brush I take off as much of the spots you can still see before I'm ready to heat set it. I preheat my heat gun so I can quickly melt the powder to prevent warping. With a very slight moist jammy, I clean off the excess baby powder. I made a top fold craft paper car base and I'm adhering my pattern paper panel to it with my ADG gun. I'm adding tin foam tape to the back of my sky panel. With my sleeve I make the tape just a little less sticky so it's easier to get the panel into the right spot on my card. With the simple puffy cloud frame dies, I cut clouds out of off-white paper. I'm going to adhere these to the card going out of the frame of the sky background. The first cloud also pops out of the side of the card for just a little bit. This adds a lot of flow to the card which enhances the feeling the little bear is floating from the sky down. Next, I add the sentiment banner with some tin foam tape to the bottom. And to finish it off, I'm adhering the bear to the sky, also with some tin foam tape. When I first saw the very rainy day set, I was disappointed the umbrella wasn't a separate stem. But quickly the idea of cutting it off the bear came up in my head, so when I got my hands on the set I tried it out right away. I'm super happy it works out, because it opens the door to making more rainy scene cards with other critters as well. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and that you feel inspired to get crafty as well. If so, please consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel and ringing the bell to receive a notification when a new video is up. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!